Okay. Hi friends. I'm looking a little rough, so please forgive me for that. But I didn't sleep last night because we were doing the 24 hour readathon. Me and my friend read for 24 hours and I filmed it. So if you want to watch that, just keep watching and you'll see how it went. So let's go. We're going to talk about what we're reading for 24 hours. This is our TBR. Do you want to start? Yes. So I'm going to start with The Song of Achilles. Um, my mom read it and she really liked it. It has a lot of hype around it though, so I'm hoping it lives up to set hype. And then, not the brightest of ideas, but I'm going to start two different series. I'm hoping to read Twisted Love and then The Fine Print. If I finish these three books before the 24 hours are up, I'm going to start Terms and Conditions, which is the second book of this series. This is what I'm going to be reading. I'm going to start with November 9 because it's super short and it's Colleen Hoover, so I know I'm going to get through it like really quickly. And I heard that people can't put this down once they start, so I feel like it'll be a good starting book. Okay, next, I think I want to start this series, the Addicted series, Addicted Callaway, whatever it is called series but i don't have any of the other books and usually once i start i read the whole series but i still want to start it because i feel like i'll get through it really quickly and it's kind of small okay next twisted hate i already read twisted love and twisted games the last those are the last two books i read and i'm so excited to read this i feel like this is gonna be my favorite one so i feel like even though it's literally 500 pages and very chunky. I feel like I'll read it quickly. seven hours in and I'd say it's going pretty well one book in seven hours is not bad if I'm like calculating in my head I'm like one hour ahead of where I think I would have been like I feel like eight hours would have been probably where I would have been at but anyway anyway um I just read this so quickly that I need time to process it um I actually have never read a book this quickly and in one sitting like in one day um I'm not gonna review it because I'll review it in my wrap-up video but just know that I just finished this and I did a poll on my Instagram on which one I should read next addicted to you neon gods or twisted hate and Twisted Hate won. And I'm glad it won because this is the one I wanted to read. So. We're going to start this big boy. It is a big boy. It's 500 pages. And we're going to start it. I feel like this is going to take me all the rest of the time. Ma'am. I feel like this is going to take me the rest of the time. So... I'll be checking in again, but seven hours in, one book down, next book, next book. <laughs> halfway through I've read one book and I'm 150 pages into Twisted Hate. I've 
finished Song of Achilles and then I'm about almost 200 pages into the fine print. We have our reinforcements. Yes, it's 10 o'clock and we're drinking coffee. And it's gonna be it's gonna be a night. We work night shift though, so maybe there's some hope. I feel like we'll be okay. I feel like this is just me doing night shift in the comfort of my own home. With no interruptions. No vitals. <laughs> no vitals. And I feel like it's about to get good, so I'm like I'm excited. I know, I'm trying to reach the part of my book with like picking up, which I think will help me like yeah. read faster. Or like not want to stop reading. The transition from finishing November 9 to starting this book was rough because I was like, wow, that was really fast. Wow, I read that really quickly, like in seven hours. It's been like four hours and I feel like I haven't read that much. It's been like a slow start, but now that I'm into it, I'm like, I think I'll be okay. getting it. But this is 500 pages, so I don't know. I feel like if I finish this, I'll be happy. I think so too, because page-wise, it's still, how much was? 300, that was that's still 800 pages. That's still really good. I think, yeah, I would consider it a win still. Okay, so let's talk about how this went. Me and SB read for 24 hours, and I feel like we did a pretty good job. We took a nap, like a pretty extensive nap, I would say. We fell asleep around three. So like the last clip that you see is we ate a snack at three. I ate ramen, and I was like, this is gonna power me through. And I ate some warm ramen, I read more of my book, and then I was out. SB was also out, but I like woke up throughout the night, like throughout that time from like 3 to like 8.30. I woke up a few times and like read a little bit and then fell back asleep. But like once you're reading for that long, like your brain needs a break, okay? Like 24 hour readathon, all I did was read in 24 hours, eat and sleep. Like I didn't do anything else. Let's talk about what happened. First book I read was November 9. The first and only book I read actually was November 9 because I didn't finish the other book. But 300 pages long was literally the fastest book I've ever read. I read this in the first seven hours of the 24 hour block, which was definitely the most productive seven hours. Like we barely did anything except for read in that first seven hours. I had like a quick snack, but other than that, we were reading for seven hours. Once I finished this book, it was really hard to get into the next one because I read this so fast, I did not process anything. Like, I processed it. Like, I knew what happened, but I needed time to process after I read it. And usually I take a couple of hours before I jump into a new book. Like, I don't just read a book and like, all right, let's hop into the next one. No, like you need time to process. So you'll hear my thoughts on November 9, maybe once I have more time to process it, but I would say it's up there with my Colleen Hoover books. I don't, nothing's gonna be ugly love for me. Like this was good, don't get me wrong, but like nothing will be ugly love. Verity was really good. So this is up there, probably top three. Okay, so we read November 9, we are, 50 pages away from fin finishing Twisted Hate, and that was in 24 hours. So I honestly would call this pretty successful. I feel like I could have... <laughs> okay, <laughs> okay, <laughs> what is happening? This is what happens when you don't get a lot of sleep, you know? Okay, I feel like I could have chosen like the shortest books, like this book. I could have chosen a bunch of books like this and I have books on my TBR that I have that I could have chosen but instead I chose this honker honker I chose this big stinking book because it's what I wanted to read and I was like you know what if I don't finish it it doesn't matter I still read for 24 hours I still spent 24 hours of my life basically reading and I had an amazing time I had so much fun I'll probably do this again so if you liked this video please 
like, subscribe, comment, and tell me if you want to see this again, because I'll do it, but only if you want me to. Okay, bye friends.